Hello. This is a video on the quadrilateral flow chart. You should have a quadrilaterals recording sheet printed out from our handouts, and we're going to go over to that now. Okay, here we are at the quadrilaterals recording sheet. And at the top, I have the general quadrilateral, which is just a four sided polygon. As we move down the paper, we start adding properties. Here, if we have one pair of parallel sides, we have a trapezoid. And here we have a kite. And then as we move down, for example, to the parallelogram, the parallelogram has additional properties beyond what we have in the trapezoid and kite. And as we continue to move down, the rectangle is a specialized parallelogram, the rhombus is a specialized parallelogram, and finally the square is the uh, rectangle and the rhombus, everything you'd ever want in a shape. So the first thing we want to do is to draw in some connecting arrows here to show the flow. And I'm going to draw this in here with my pen. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get it to stay on the screen, but we'll do our best here. OK, I think I've got my pen ready here. So we have the arrow coming down this way. A trapezoid is a specialized quadrilateral. We have the arrow coming down this way. The kite is a specialized quadrilateral. We have an arrow coming here. The parallelogram is actually, I take that back. That is incorrect. Let me erase that. Okay, the rhombus is a specialized kite. I'll let you think about why that's true. The rhombus is also a specialized parallelogram. The rectangle is a specialized parallelogram. And finally, the square is a specialized rhombus, and it is also a specialized rectangle. The flow of this diagram is very essential. And unfortunately, my annotations are not going to be showing up. So please record this before it gets erased. Sorry about the annotation tool. If I zoom in so that we can see all the annotations, then you can't read the screen. So I'm still learning as we're going. Now we need to write the definitions. And I would ask you to write the definitions outside the figure. And we're going to pull the definitions from our textbook. So if you could come over to the website and go to our textbook and come to the basics of geometry chapter. And we do have a chapter section here 1.5 on quadrilaterals and we see that a quadrilateral is a polygon with four sides so we need to put that on our recording sheet a polygon with four sides okay i didn't do too bad there it is a quadrilateral is a polygon with four sides The definition of a kite 
A kite is a convex quadrilateral with two pair of adjacent congruent sides such that not all the sides are congruent. The key here is that we have two pair of adjacent congruent sides. For example, these two sides are adjacent and these two sides are adjacent and congruent. Opposite sides are not going to be congruent. So that should be put on the recording sheet. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides. Please put that on the recording sheet. A parallelogram is a quadrilateral with two pair of parallel sides. And these are going to be the opposite sides, obviously, that have to be parallel. A rectangle is a quadrilateral with four right angles. Okay, now the definition here sometimes varies a little bit from book to book, but we'll try to remember to use this one. It's also true that we could define a rectangle as a parallelogram that is equiangular. An equiangular quad, excuse me, an equiangular parallelogram. And since the four angles have to add up to 360, that makes each of them 90. But we'll go ahead and use our textbook's definition for a rectangle. Please write that on the recording sheet. Our definitions we are writing outside the figure. When we determine the properties, we're going to be writing those inside the figure. Our definition of a rhombus, a rhombus is a quadrilateral with four congruent sides. Very interesting. Up here we have four congruent angles and here we have four congruent sides. The other definition is a rhombus is a parallelogram that is equilateral. Equilateral means the four sides are congruent. You can assume that a rhombus is a parallelogram. And finally, a square is a quadrilateral with four right angles and four congruent sides. The other definition would be a square is a parallelogram that is both equilateral and equiangular. So, what I would like you to do is investigate what some of the properties are going to be. And you might want to look at the diagonals and the questions that we like to ask in math are, what do you notice and what do you wonder? I think we are going to state the property of the quadrilateral. The quadrilateral just has one property. Okay, I was able to get that written inside the quadrilateral. There's really only one property of the general quadrilateral, and that's the sum of the angle measures is 360 degrees. You might want to have two copies of this. Uh, one copy that has your definitions written down, the arrows, and then we're going to be putting the properties inside the figure. Uh, do that in pencil so you can erase it. And then another one where you do a little bit of experimenting, measuring lengths of sides and so on. As you are discovering the properties of quadrilaterals come to the week six area, properties of quadrilaterals. And for example, when you determine a property of, uh, let's say a kite, you can come here and uh, re reply to the thread. Uh, one thing to note, we do not need to write on inside the kite here or on the discussion board, the property that the kite inherits from the general quadrilateral in particular, that the sum of the angles is 360 degrees. Also, any properties that we would have of the kite are going to be 
automatically pass down to the rhombus. So we will not need to rewrite those properties. So in the discussion board for the rhombus, we want the properties that are properties of the rhombus, but not properties of the figures higher up in the chart. If you have questions, please ask during the Zoom exchange or give me a call or ask in the discussion area.